And today is going to be among the most advanced, the most complex hacks that we saw in Mr. Robot, and maybe also maybe the most valuable <laughs> yep. in that, in that we're going to be looking at essentially creating a mobile spy machine. I love that. So, so I mean, you've kind of mentioned it offline, and I don't want to jump the gun. So is, is, which episode are we talking about? This is, this is season two. I think it's episode five. I'm pretty sure it is episode five. They talk about it in episode four. They do it in episode five. And this is, well, you know, we know that Elliot has taken down Evil Corp. Right, him and F Society have taken down Evil Corp, and we have this kind of chaos in the global economy, right? And we've we've now have lots of things going on, including the Chinese are now involved, and we have the FBI is involved. FBI is actually in China. We have the the female uh, FBI agent. What's her name? Um, DePiro, I think is her name. Dom DePiro is her name. Uh, Dom DePiro is in China. She's meeting with uh, the Chinese. The FBI are on the trail of Elliot and his whole gang. I mean, you know, they're, they're kind of freaking out. They're getting paranoid. They realize that, you know, it, their FBI are not very far behind. And so they've got to come up with a plan to be able to find out what the FBI know, because everybody is getting paranoid, thinking that they're going to be arrested soon for the 5-9 hack. And so they come up with this plan to be able to spy on the FBI. In the first part, we learned that the FBI has switched okay, to Android phones. Okay, that's the first step. And that comes up in episode <laughs> four. All right. And then in episode five, we see Elliot is begins to develop some exploits, but he has to have a way to be able to deliver the exploits. And so what he comes up with is to basically create a mini cell tower that he's going to place inside of Evil Corp. And Angela, who's now working for Evil Corp, she can walk in, apparently, and place <laughs> it in, <laughs> apparently. I, that's kind of a big if, right? But uh, and place it in the uh, Evil Corp to be able to pick up the cell um, signals from uh, the FBI. And of course, then also implant some malware. So what we're talking about here is what's called a femto cell. This is a femto cell. These are a couple of femto cells. And these are the ones that are actually used in the show. And I have I have this one right here. I bought this one a few years ago. This is the new, you can see this, of course, right? Yep, yep. Okay, okay. So what these are is that all of the cell companies, no matter where you're at around the world, they sell what are called network extenders. These are for people who live in areas where there is not good cell service. So you put one of these in your home, you put one of these in your office. If you don't have good cell service, maybe it's a dead zone. And essentially what it does is it works as a cell tower within your home or office. Now we know, maybe not, but we do <laughs> that your cell phone will connect to the closest and strongest cell signal. And so essentially what these are, by putting one of these in somebody's home or office, you're going to, they're going to connect to this femto cell and kind of give you a diagram of what it looks like in somebody's home. It's like, so here's the, the femto cell in somebody's home. They got a cell phone. It's an old style flip phone there. It's kind of an old diagram. And then the femto cell connects to broadband access into the internet. Okay, and then connects to the cell network. Right? So it is essentially intercepting the cell signal and putting it across the internet into the cell, um, the cellular network. All right, so it goes through the internet into the cellular network. So can I ask you, is this similar to the Stingray type thing that the, because that's the one you always, you always hear about, like the police or whatever, FBI, whatever, using the Stingray uh, ISMI catch it up things, right? Exactly. So essentially what this is, is that it's a mini stingray, all right? It's a mini stingray, whereas a stingray can capture signals for, you know, a large distance. I mean, you can put one in a neighborhood and it'll pick up yeah. all the cell signals in that neighborhood and the FBI and others, law enforcement use them. And it's only legal for law enforcement to actually have one. It's not legal for anybody else to have one. I will put out there that at Hackers Arise, we're working on building one with a software-defined radio. So that's part of our project. Wow. Here. So we'll you see tell that. You, you, know, you, better, you better come on the show when, when, you, when you've got that ready. Sorry to interrupt. Well, it's it's pretty much ready. Okay, it's not, it's not something, we're not inventing it. 
Okay, we're yeah. building it because it's already been invented, but you can go ahead and use a software defined radio to make a stingray. Now, it's illegal to have, actually own one, a stingray. We'll we'll put this up on your uh, on your channel. We'll put it up on Hackers Rise in the in the future. But a femtocell is legal, right? A femtocell is legal, so that's 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 a good thing. Femtocell is legal, right? So this is being sold from the largest carrier in the US, yeah. which is Verizon. They sell them on their website. This is coming right off their website, very similar to the one that I have. I bought mine off eBay for, I think, $120 um, a few years ago. And people sell them on eBay because they, they bring them home and they don't want them or don't need them and they put them up on eBay. Knew they cost between $250 to $300. And it's a legal device that the carriers and all the carriers sell them, but they're all slightly different. So what I'm showing you here today is going to apply in general to all of them, but specifics are going to be very different. So every carrier has their own. Notice you can see here the, the Samsung logo logo right here. I don't know if you can yep. see that in the screen. Yeah. So these are made by Samsung. Verizon makes the Samsung. Other carriers use other manufacturers, okay, to make these. And what these are is just a mini cell tower. The key on this mini cell tower is to be able to get inside of it. <laughs> because if we can get if we can get inside of it, then in essence, we can eavesdrop and do a man in the middle on all the traffic that goes through it. And that's essentially what Elliot's doing in the show. All right. So we see him, he's developing an exploit, but what he's doing is he's going to put that exploit into the femto cell. So the, the, the first step to getting inside the femto cell is that I have on here and I've taken some pictures okay to show you the first step is you'll you look down at the bottom right here well I'm going to back up a little bit okay so there's both enterprise level femto cells and there's consumer level femto cells All right so we're looking okay. at a consumer consumer level it's actually a little bit easier to hack the enterprise <laughs> level femto cells on the consumer level which are cheap ones right that's what we're talking about here here's there's a, a connection down below in the bottom of these things, right here. And what's that look like? Can you see it? You see what kind of connection? Yeah, I can is? see it. Yep. Yeah. What does it look like? I can't see. I can't see clearly. Is it like RJ forty five or is no. it like a screen? I mean, look at it. I'm gonna bring it a little closer. You're can testing you me. It? I'm not sure. I can see oh, it. Oh, you can't see it. Okay, it's an it's an H it's an HDMI connection. Oh, I thought it might be. Yep. Well, yeah, let me let me let me, pre let me let me pretend that I knew what it was. Uh, okay. is, is it HDMI? <laughs> Yes, it's an HDMI, exactly. <laughs> but but what can we do with an HDMI? I mean, this is this is what's really puzzling when you see this. You go, what can I do with this HDMI connection here? Right? Yeah. It it turns out that the Samsung and, and Verizon have a specially made cable that is essentially USB on one end and HDMI on the other end. Oh, but wow. You can't, yeah, because I mean, you, HDMI, you think it's just a monitor. Why would you want a screen connected to it, such it, a device? Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. But they've developed their own unique and proprietary cables to be able to get inside of these things, right? But it's not that hard to make your own.